Greetings and salutations. It's your boy Boom from LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back. Um, just dropping you guys with um, the karma for the week. You know what I mean? I figure I just group both masculine and feminine's readings up in one little uh, message here. You know what I mean? I already got the cards picked. It's definitely take two. But uh, feminine, you up top, masculine at the bottom. This is each of you guys' individual roles, individual situations, individual demos that um, just happen to be placed here near each other. So I'm pretty sure since y'all in the same space here, card-wise, um, some things you guys are going to share, some things you guys are going to kind of interlap one so um let's get in one last look at this mess we got god out here we got the four of wands out here union reunion recognition we got the world out here four of cups eight of swords self-imposed prisons we got the review card out here seven of pentacles we got the ace of swords eight of wands knight of cups and uh the lover's card. Good energies for a karmic reading. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna try something new too. Reading starts in two minutes. So I'm gonna do this. So, this is the feminine row. Okay. I'm not going to pick out clarifications for this reading. The second card I pick out is going to be the karma to what's going on here. So I'm going to keep the karma really direct as far as the feminine energy. I'm going to do the masculine row the same. Yeah, what I mean, just note. Overall energy, this involves both you guys. Bottom line energy, this involves both you guys, obviously. This is the bottom line energy. That's what's up. And, uh... And you know, I, last time I did this, I showed you how I be picking out cards and shit. You see that? That's either a full card or a devil card. Now, what? It's a karmic reading. What you think that is? <laughs> Guess. Three, two, one. Guess. All right. All right. Devil. <laughs> Think it be thirsty. You know what I'm saying? He ain't coming out here. I'm gonna put his bitch ass right in the middle of the motherfucking deck. Because he's a bitch, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep riding with it. Like, if he pop out, you'll just see the thirst. Because he was sitting there. I told you, I picked the spread out already. You know what I mean? I told you, the devil would be creeping. It'd be just like that. Him sitting on top of the deck. Just like that. Looking at me like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to end. <laughs> I'm going to end. I'm just getting this camera right. Karma, baby. We in here, you know what I'm saying? Let's get with it. Alright, right, we cool. Alright, we cool. <laughs> now, overall energy. We got the Knight of Cups here. Romeo card. It could be the Rome card for the Romeos who don't want to be called Romeo anymore. They've, they've matured a little bit. They've grown up a little bit. They want to be known as Rome. You know what I'm saying? Go for Juliet's too. Because he can be a she, she can be a he. You know how we rock it. And some people don't want to be Juliet no more. They're jewels now. You know what I'm saying? They're jewels. Just call them jewels. <laughs> Doing big things now. Building big bridges. Rome and jewels. See, Rome, he ain't on no juvenile shit like he used to be. This is a knight, though. I told you, knights, queens, kings, and things involve divine, divine things. It's a, it's a scale. Like, from ace to ten, that's karma. You go from ace to ten, from ace to ten, from ace to ten all the time. I mean, that's that's your karmic. That's the life of a karmic. There's no growth there. You're not going to the knights, queens, and kings and things because you're not elevated to where divines at. Where are divines at? Bottom line, they in Zion. People who free from the matrix. People who live in the real world, not the matrix, which is out here. This is where karmics dwell at, the matrix. 
Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups is what? Emotional fulfillment. Happiness. This is a step after happiness. This is putting your whole heart into some shit. But it's juvenile energy. It's a night. You know what I mean? Like, young love is cool. You know what I mean? Teenage love is cool, but just like Romeo and Juliet, they ended up killing their damn selves in the name of love. They were young. They were idiots. They were two in their feelings, cups, emotions, feelings, emotions. They're all indicators of the direction you're going in life. You know, Juliet, Jules. I mean, she wasn't Jules then. She was Juliet. Juliet chose to fake her death. You know, in order to be f set free from this bond that she was in with her family so she can be with the love of her life. But she wasn't thinking about what would happen if, I don't know, Romeo seen Juliet just dead. I don't think that thought crossed her mind. You know, I know I ain't crossed her mind because she was a fucking teenager. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why they raised the, the, the motherfucking smoking age up to 21 and shit. Like I say, you motherfuckers is doing weird ass shit. 18 years old or not, like I say, you know, motherfuckers is getting dumber and dumber by the generation and shit. Yes, I do agree with that. 18 year olds, I'm saying. You know how I was at 18. I got into the most worst accident ever at 18. Going fucking 70 miles per hour in the motherfucking rain. <laughs> in the motherfucking rain. Freezing rain at that. I didn't know I was 18. Like, I was going cross country too. Yeah, didn't get too far. Total. The motherfucking car. I was 18. I mean, <laughs> we're young. You know, we're still learning and shit. You know, you don't want to build bridges in the jewel energy though. So it's good that you matured a little bit to where now you're Rome. And you're choosing to do things as Rome now, or your jewels, and you're choosing to do things as jewels now. You're reinventing yourself. You, you know, want to break ties with your young self or your past or the dumb things you used to do to shit that you're not doing anymore. You went through a transition. You're a whole new person. Masculine and feminine, jewels in Rome, you know. And since y'all on another level, it's time to build on another level. This is you and your masculine doing different shit. Shit I ain't do before. Going to restaurants shit I ain't never been to before. Not the same restaurants. It's cool to go back to the same restaurants to rekindle shit and shit. You know, but new restaurants. New plans. New business offers. I remember I, I hit my mask in with two business plans. And the time I've known them, I've hit them with two business plans. And I try to create a whole program for him. Community program for him. You know. Like, I've, I've definitely tried you know, so when I do try to build something with him or create something for him again, it's going to be something different. It's something, you know, what, that he might like. Eight of Wands, that's clarifying this too. It's communication. It's you two really talking, really communicating to build something together. Whether this is you two planning a trip, this could be an itinerary or a receipt or some shit. You two exchanging gifts and shit. He probably got some shit you need and he can supply you with that. You know what I mean? And since you was gonna pay some money to give it somewhere else, you might as well give it to him type shit. You know what I mean? Like building. You two are gonna build and it's gonna be in like a a weird way. Like two teenagers trying to start a company. It's like look dude, I got like fifteen bucks. How much you got? Like, man, I got twenty. It's like, alright, look, we're gonna buy <laughs> Like, we're gonna buy, um, I don't know, like, uh, shovels or some shit so we can, like, make money during this whole little blizzard and shit, you know what I'm saying? Then y'all create a whole shoveling company, and then it turns from a shoveling company to a, a leaves, raking leaves company during the spring and shit, you know what I mean? Y'all give it a nice name, and this is the shit y'all do in the community, making money and being of service to everybody just because y'all two are really putting your whole heart right you two really coming together to build something what was this this was the idea to start a company to shovel and rake lawns y'all just happen to be in a nice neighborhood where it's mostly older people so it's an older neighborhood it's like when i lived in california like i said i stayed on wilshire and shit i lived in uh culver city and i lived in like a jewish korean neighborhood <laughs> it's a lot of old people 
Like a lot of old people. You know, my little brother used to rack up shoveling snow. Well, it wasn't snow because it was LA. Excuse me. Raking leaves. I grew up in Chicago. That's why I said that. From Chicago. Raking leaves and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just tight. You know? But it's going to come from communication. It's going to come from building. Make sure y'all build and communicate. Aside from all that, this is venting. Y'all going to be working together. So in the midst of y'all working, y'all going to be talking. This is why y'all need to, I don't know, take a trip. I don't know, at least, they want to, and they'll probably be like fishing or camping or some shit like that. Like, I've been camping since I was like 18, 17, 18. You know what I mean? It'd be nice to to camp low, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know my twin loves fishing, that's his thing. Um, it would be nice to get some outdoorsy time when we can. Probably when it get warmer and shit. Uh, I'm about to meet up with him at the gym. Um, shit, I think like uh, Thursday or some shit like that. And to get it in, the gym, like old times. <laughs> it's been a while, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, we're just building it. Slow building until we get into some complex building. But make sure overall energy y'all get into some complex shit. Why? Bottom line. We got four wands. This is home. This is you two being under one roof. Okay? You in recognition with your twin, you two are motherfucking two peas in a pod. Just like this two of cups right here in the masculine energy coming into this karmic situation. Lover's card. You know. And if they boots, y'all knocking, it's like me and my twin. Like I said, we were just two peas in a pod. We forwarded each other. We were always around each other. We were with each other damn near every day. Talk to each other every fucking day. Like, we were inseparable. We were two fucking peas in a pod. Like, where the fuck I was at, he was at. Where the fuck he was at, I was at. If he wasn't with me, people asking, where you <laughs> It's like, where's your old man at? You know what I'm saying? And he by himself, niggas asking him, where's your boy? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that. You know what I mean? Joined by the hip type shit, you know what I mean? Thing is, me and my twin ain't really been home in a while. Like, it's a long story. Like, even when I was in union, like I say, it was only in union for about a month and a half before I got into, like, separation. And I know moving to, like, Utah and shit, like, I've been gone for a minute. Aside from being separated, I've personally been gone for a while. So that's what kind of add to the fact that we really ain't been... You know, home in a while, like a long time. Man, I mean, really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of hard to explain. This is Zion. Home is where the heart is. You know, I know where my, I know what's in my heart. You know what I mean? And my twin is definitely in it. You know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a select few people that fit in my heart. Because because if, if you in my heart, that means you in my mind, and I can't have too many people on my brain. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't focus and shit. You know what I mean? Twin is definitely in here. That's where I keep him. But the fact of the matter is, we got three of swords clarifying this. Three of swords is uh point of no return. It's also the pain card. There's no coming back. You know and I mean we we here to stay. This is I'm gonna say this shit. My situation is different from y'all. This is karma. One said some real ass shit when I see them. He said, <laughs> "Like man, part of the reason why man I don't really can't fuck with you with the shit you're doing is because you know what I'm saying shit you're doing is dangerous. I mean, I don't really want to endanger my life in the manner that you're doing it with that. I know exactly what he meant. Cause like I say, he know me. He know I'm in this shit." I think I'm in the ride, not YouTube. Fuck YouTube. I mean, it's cool, but I ain't riding for YouTube. Like, this is just the channel I'm using to get my messages out. Like, I'm actually riding for a motherfucking cause here. You know what I'm saying? My twin know all about that. Why? Because he's me. So Niggas know exactly what extent I will go to when it comes to God and the kingdom. Nigga can say it. All he like about me, uh, about me not being in church and shit, but one thing that nigga know, he know I'll die for God. He know I'll die for the king, nigga. He know I'll die for mine. You know what I'm saying? In the same manner that he will, but I'll do it to the extreme. 
Because that's the world I'm living in. Four of Wands. That's home. I'm telling you, Zion is real as fuck in Zion. It ain't peaches and cream. It's Zion. Think about Zion. Look at the, Go watch the Matrix. Zion, they eating goop. There's no sunlight. Feel me? Like, shit. Zion look like a big ass prison. Look like a huge fucking wasteland, man. But that's where the divine live. Survival on a whole nother level. It ain't sugar-coated and sweet like the Matrix where the Divine Masculine used to call him. That he's starting to understand home ain't what it was. It's like Neo when he got jacked into the Matrix for the first time since being set free going to see the Oracle. Him a Trinity in the car and shit. He looking outside and he like, damn. He laughed and shit. Trinity like, yo. That was funny. I used to eat at that place. Had very good noodles and shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, nigga. You're in the real world now. You know what I'm saying? The world you used to be in, you used to dwell in, you used to love so much. You used to spend so much time, energy, and resources in. It wasn't the real world. It was a matrix. It was fake. And guess what? Trinity sitting in the car looking at you, looking at your former world, and know exactly how you feeling. Feminine, it's the karma of all this shit. Masculine, despite how hard this shit is for you, how tough this shit is for you, how emotionally draining this shit might be for you, how vulnerable you might get in this shit. Feminine been in this shit longer than you. It might be the other way around for some. Not all. But majority. Most of the time. Trinity been in the Matrix longer than, than, than the other. You know? So imagine how she feels. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> imagine the people before you, masculine. I was thinking about that shit the other day. I had a lot of father figures in my life, you know what I'm saying? But my twin takes the cake. I've had a lot. I've had a lot of best friends in my life. My twin takes the fucking cake. You know what I mean? I've had a lot of enemies in my life. My twin takes the cake. You know, and I've had a lot of growth in my life. People who waited to my growth and shit. And he's given me the most growth of anybody in my life. Just next to my mom. Because I'm a man and the boy got his mom in his life. You know what I'm saying? Your mom is the motherfucking. <laughs> she is what you become, son. My mother is the reason why I am the way I am. You know what I mean? One for her, I wouldn't be who I am. Like the reflection that I am came from my mother. Fuck you, said. And dad, too, but I don't know that nigga. <laughs> that was another story. I get my name from a man that was my father, but he was locked up the majority of my life. He didn't get out to, uh, he didn't get out of prison. He was locked up my whole life. He didn't get out to the year my to the year I'm at my twin. Two twelve. The year I'm at my twin was the year my father came out. I'm gonna get my name. I call him my father because he's the only connection I got as far as the father figure is concerned. And he was in a um, prison. Maximum, maximum security. Minimum security. He was that nigga back in the day. He, he'd been in prison since the late 70s. That was my father. You know what I'm saying? And I found out I actually had a father. Biological father. I met him when I was like six. I only met him like four times. He's kind of like a mythical creature. Like a motherfucking uh, leprechaun or, or a dolphin. <laughs> Or my uh, unicorn and some shit. I don't see him that much. You know what I mean? I'm starting to believe he kind of don't even exist. Maybe he might be like a liar or some shit. Yeah, I mean, just black problems. You understand what I'm saying? I had a stepdad. Some niggas my mom allowed around me and shit. They was cool, but I mean, you know, I had a grandfather, but he was Mr. Church. You know. Now I'm at my twin. <laughs> I was looking for a father figure, and I found one, like, I found exactly what the fuck I was looking for. You know what I mean? It's the connection. Some of y'all looking for, like, Romeo. Juliet looking for Romeo. Like, Romeo looking for Juliet and shit. Me? It's different. It's still the same shit. I found what I was looking for. It was on the same frequency. Same vibration. 
Speaking of frequency and, vi frequency and vibration, I'm going to just kick it off with the masculine first. Switch it up. Masculine, coming to the situation first. Karmically, you got the two of cups. This is you and another person on the same frequency. You and another person orbiting each other. This is you being locked dead into a person and not breaking eye contact. This is you holding somebody's hand and not letting their hand go. Y'all niggas is tied, joined by the hip. It's how you are in, re in uh, recognition. It's how you are in reunion. It's how you are in union. Can nobody separate this? It's a bond. It's like two stars orbiting each other or like two magnets coming together. I mean, if they weak magnets, you can pull them apart. But if they're strong magnets, you can't pull them apart. If they're planets, you can't pull them apart. Oh, they can get pulled apart. This does, like think about two of cups. They they don't last. They're temporary. They're just it's fake. That's the world. You know, lover's card. A lot of people put this two of cups as the lover's card. Like, love is cool. You know what I mean? Love transcends. Love is universal. But love is so many levels to that. Let's keep it real. Motherfuckers think of the lover's card. They think of physical love. I think physical love is more represented by the lover's card than, like I say, the connection itself. It's a connection. It's like a laser beam. You and this person, y'all on the same wavelength. Three of Cups is distraction in my book. Why? Because there's something in the middle with this motherfucking connection. In the way. <laughs> Breaking connection. Oh, y'all still spinning. But it ain't direct as it used to be. Masculine. Kicking his reading off. Warming in someone. I take it as... You're feminine, but let's see if it's something else. Six of swords. It's your feminine. You roll it with the homie. So once again, you back and go loose with your twin. That's cool. Okay, but karma to it. You roll it with your twin. It go with the whole Zion thing. Like, you and Zion, you ain't in the world no more. It's real up here. It's rules up here that don't apply to the rules in the Matrix. It's, 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 it's shit you gotta abide by, like being on your purpose, like being on your road. You, you got a divine job to do. It's like you rolling with your feminine. You choosing to really gridlock yourself with your feminine. And by doing that, we got karma. You gotta catch all the smoke that's gonna come with dealing with your feminine. Shit you've dealt with before, masculine. Okay, so we're not reiterating on something you don't know. You've been through this situation before. Being all in with your twin. Put an example with me and my twin. Once again, the boy back talking to me. The boy back hollering at me like, I ain't his Facebook friend. That shit is dead. <laughs> like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? He's not going to do that, right? To where, like, I don't know, his I don't know, it's like where he thinks I'm such an extremist or such a radical for his fucking social media pages. Like, he doesn't even want to be facilitated with me social media-wise. Mainly, he just don't want people to, like, I don't know, put two and two about who he is and shit for people that do know us. People know us, but they don't know us like y'all know us type situation. You know what I mean? But if they did catch on and did watch, they'll know exactly who us is. <laughs> so I should say this, like, my mask is all done. Whatever I get from this, he's going to get. He's already gotten a few perks from me doing this. He could get more perks from this shit if he fuck with me with it. Like, so many opportunities that we could have had if he would have just trusted me and, and just came in this direction with this. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm asking to know what come with being with me. He's down to accept all terms and conditions. And that's where he's at. Feminine, you come into the situation, you got the re read. You're removing some shit, rehashing a few things, relaying a few messages. You know what I'm saying? 
removing things, reanalyzing things, releasing some things, reconnecting some things, you know, reversing a few moves, Riri. Some things you need to reorder. Pinnacles, they're person, places, or things. Places you need to stay away from. People you need to move away from or relocate around, move around from. Uh, things, things you need to remove out of your life. Things you need to leave alone. You know, that's the energy you have coming to your karmic situation. Karma, so you moving the fuck around right now, that's the Nine of Pentacles. It's a reason you got to move the fuck around. Karma. Nine of Pentacles, that's being in a position to bless somebody or being in a position to be blessed by someone or something. Somehow. Seven of Pentacles. So it's, it's the 70%. The reason why you rereading, you know, relocating 70% so you can get to 80%. What's 80%? Eight of Pentacles. What's eight of Pentacles? That's the harvest. What's the harvest? The shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, a comfortable bed to sleep on. Children, a husband, a car, a bed, a house, a home. Clothes. Job, whatever, like they will harvest. 80%. Having a harvest is 80%. That's a B. That's good. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just passing, you're doing good at an eight of pentacles. But if you get to a nine of pentacles, that's an A. That's A for awesome. Because you're doing more than just surviving. Six of pentacles is homeostasis. Six of pentacles ain't passing, it's the D. It ain't no F, it ain't failing. But it ain't passing. It's just square one. You pass square one. But the crucialist step to get to an A or a B even is by handling your seven of pentacles correctly. Told you. Feminine. Seven of pentacles. Like you got paid. Somebody, I mean, whoever need it's like it's like you got paid, but you ain't got no money to do shit. People ask me for money. Hey, let me hold down some dollars or something, or can you pay back something that you owe or some shit like that? It's like, look, I don't have it. They're like, well, I know you have it. You got paid today. It's like, look, I don't have it. And you just walk away, like, move around. From, like, I don't have time for this. This shit is beneath me. Like, move around. I shouldn't have to explain to you about my finances. I just told you what I don't have. Quit trying to count my money. Like, you don't want to be around for people to count your money. You know what I'm saying? I'm going count my money. That's a red flag. Man, you should have like so-and-so, so-and-so left from your check, right? It could be my mama. It could be a, a, a friend that's on me a little too hard. It's like, yo, what? Stay in my pocket. <laughs> I ain't in your pockets. Your money, my money ain't your money. Like, your money ain't my money. Like, stay in my motherfucking pockets. Point blank, period. Ain't no need for that. Motherfucker check in your pockets. That means they ain't got nothing in their pockets to check. And I told you. You don't want motherfuckers to start feeling entitled to your shit. You know. You open your house up to a friend. They be at your house so much. They sleep on the same damn couch and shit so much. They think that's their couch. Like, since they automatically come over, they automatically don't sleep. On that couch, because that's what they're usually at and shit. It's like, no. Eh. Like, you just feel entitled to sleep here. You feel entitled to, like, have this couch or some shit like that. Like, you fucking the couch up, sleeping on that motherfucker. I allow you to sleep on that motherfucker. Being nice and shit. But since you feel entitled, let me reread Seven of Pentacles. Switch up real quick. You know what I mean? Move the fuck around real quick on that. Like, nah, I ain't no more sleeping over here. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you feel entitled. Once again, some motherfucker asking you for some money, knowing they, knowing you got paid. They didn't holler at you before payday. They waited to payday to ask you for some shit. And you know they bullshitting and full of shit. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> just love no. Moving on. Feminine, you got the ace. Oh, excuse me. Uh, doing masculine. Masculine, you got the Godsmack. 
God, King of Swords. It's God in my book. It's Tower Moment, it's Judgment, it's Divine Intervention. This is God stepping out from the heavens to help a situation, whether that's good, bad, or ugly. This is in a feminine role, too. Interesting. Let's pull another card here. We have the King of Cups, two kings. High energy. It's the energy you need to be on the Lion Masculine. Why? Because you're the King of Wands. Possessing the King of Cups, which is the highest form of emotion you can be on. You know what I mean? Which is tough love. It's the spirit of discernment. It's the spirit to, like I say, sound fucking weird, but I mean, it's facts. King of Cups. It's the highest form of emotion you can be on. This is the energy of, like I say, you at war with, I don't know, another country, another gang, another government, or something like that, you know what I mean? And your brethren is dropping dead around you, and you still pushing forward. Why? Because you got to. Like, you're a soldier. No matter what war you fight, you got to keep going. Can't sit there and mourn your homie. This could be a homie that was with you ever since you was born. He got smoked quick as hell. It's not funny, but he got shot quick as shit. He, he gone. Battle ain't even started. He got smoke coming on the battlefield. Boom, you by yourself early. It's just you and God. God is this is down from your chin. God got you, right? All right. You see God as a, as a sword. What's a sword? That's a decision. That's a direction. God is a decision. God is a direction, sword. <laughs> God is a ideology. God is a mentality. You know what I mean? God is the direction that's pointing up here. There's only one right way in, in, in life. You got left, you got right. It's only one right way. And it's up. What's up? God is what's up. You know, mental. You're God. We were made in his image and called us by our names. The reason why God is six inches down from your chin is because you is God. So aside from being a king of wands masculine, you're a king of swords masculine with the king of cups energy. And this is karma. Like I say, part of being a God is like I say, you gotta have a spirit of the sun. People ain't gonna make it. You need to accept that. All people aren't gonna get free. You need to accept that. Um, a lot of things you need to accept. The sooner you accept them, the better off you'll be. You know? It's like growing up, man. Put your big drawers on, man. Like I say, four cups. The world is fake. It's a matrix. Literally, figuratively, and metaphorically speaking, it's a matrix. It's fake. It's shit. The food is fake as shit. You know what I mean? Like, the food is fake. Look at, look at some people's bodies. Like, their bodies fake. Like, I'm not knocking trans. Just use state facts, nigga. Hey. It's transitions, man. Body-wise, it went from one sex to another one. Like, that that's where we at. It's, it's fake. Like, you can turn your dick and balls into a vagina and shit, but it's not a vagina. It is, but it ain't. It is because it looked like it. Like, I can do this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm look like pussy lips, but they ain't. What the fuck is you saying? Like, it ain't. You're not going to pour syrup on shit and call it pancakes. Like, that's what's happening a lot in the fucking world. Four cups. It's fake. The weather. It's fake. You got fucking harp out here. Nigga, like, nigga. They can make it rain like Lil Wayne at any fucking time. That's nothing. Anything. What you want? Earthquake, what you want? Volcano, nigga, what you want? Forest fire, nigga, what you need? Blizzard, nigga, what you want? At the, at the snap of a fucking fingertip, it's man-made. 
It's the world we live in. Once again, I told you, with seven-dimensional technology out here, I wouldn't be surprised if this is one big-ass simulation just like the Matrix. Your masculine gonna learn all this shit just fucking with you. It's like my masculine, my masculine watching this video and just getting that, all that I just dropped. He's just like, damn. Facts, nigga. Like, it is real out here. Yeah, it's real out here. Real, real as fuck. You need to know what the world is and what the real world is. That's, that's all. Masculine is definitely gonna learn. But it's what he needs to learn. Why? Because he needs to show the spirit of discernment to a lot of shit he wasn't showing the spirit of discernment to. In layman's term, he's going to start learning how to not. Like, he's going to start learning how to not give a fuck about shit he needs to not give a fuck about. Feminine, you in regards to yourself... You got the Ace of Pentacles. This is uh, something appearing. This looks like a ring. Engagement ring, wedding ring, invitation. Uh, you find out you're pregnant. An announcement. Like you won an A award. You won a lottery. You got selected for like, I don't know, a radio contest or some shit. Like, this is a, some type of an award. Award, reward, some type of uh, acknowledgement. Certificate, degree, present, something good. Let's put some more smoke on this. Well, it's, it's karma. Let's <laughs> find as the full card. <laughs> So, um, God just told on himself, though. The mask him told on himself, too. Look, this is karma. Something's gonna arrive, feminine, and whatever this is, it's gonna be something you're gonna put in your harvest. It's something that you put in your harvest. I told you, harvest the shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, come to a bed, sleep on. Um, car. Uh, house, accessories, uh, pinnacles, man, just pinnacles, good pinnacles, pinnacles you want to have in your harvest, we ain't talking about pinnacles, that's not in your harvest, okay, whatever thing you're going to get, you're not going to know what it is, like, God is right here, and it's like, he's making sure, because, you know, he's looking away, from this, like he don't see this himself, like kind of how the masculine doing, like he just he just Ray Charles. This is not facts. I mean, I'm just saying this shit in words. Like God is kind of Ray Charles eh, when it comes to like what you finna get. You're not gonna know what you're gonna have from this. Something is gonna appear. You're gonna attain something. You're gonna acquire something. Something is gonna present itself. Might be something you need. Might be something you don't need. Might be something ugly. Ugly is better than bad. God doesn't make bad things happen to you, but God. <laughs> God works. That's what God works in mysterious ways. Me. He can do shit for your good, but he can do shit that's bad. Like bad, like bad, but if, if that's what has to happen for you to like, I don't know, get it, for you to kind of like get it, he's going to do it. I tell you, it's purpose over person. God got to seclude you in a way to where you by yourself, all you got is like, like, it's like isolation, seclusion, man, like, you don't know what God got in store for you, or whatever it is. Trust me, it definitely involves him. Whatever God got you involved in, it definitely involves him. Whether that's acknowledging him as yourself on a day-to-day -day level, or it's like doing stuff for him. That's not another story. Anyway, let me get back to the read. So, you're going to get something feminine, and you're not going to know what it is. My personal opinion, either the masculine is going to keep this from you, it's coming from your masculine, he's going to keep it from you, or 
It's like God gonna do some divine intervention to really keep this under wraps. For the sake of the whole acquiring this pinnacle case anyway. Like it's karma. Like the karma to you getting this asset or acquiring whatever this is, it's like a mystery box on a game show. You really don't know what the fuck this get. Like it is. It can be good, bad, or ugly. You don't know. Go on, open the box though. <laughs> Masculine, in regards to yourself, personally, you got the five of wands. This is life after union. Once again, this popped up three different times in the reading. You're in the real world now, masculine. You know, you and Zion. This is what Zion is. What you thought Zion was? What you, what you thought it was like the Matrix? What you thought it was two Matrixes out here? Just a better Matrix? Like, fuck no. Life after. My biggie voice. Life after. <laughs> it's life after union. Masculine. If y'all came into this Twin Flame shit with karmic tendencies or karmic motives or karmic ambitions, you're gonna get them shits deflated. You know. Use so many examples, but they won't be good ones. But look. Like I say, you know, it's like me. I'm a Leo, you know. If I want to make a good impression, I go all out. Might not have the money to go all out. But I'm going to go all out in the best way most resourceful is way that I can. Mainly for the oppression. I want to make my oppression felt. Make my oppression known. You know what I'm saying? I want to leave a good taste in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? So you will want to fuck with me later. Like an hour later. You know what I'm saying? But look. Me even thinking I got to go to the extreme. It's doing too much anyway. Like, it's back to life, back to reality. Once you get to know a person, you still gotta have your own life. Like, it's how you is. Okay, that's the energy. Like, the energy of, like I say, you find somebody you like, it take off, y'all mesh well, but it's still too early. I just had a chick hit me up on social media talking about she loved me and all this other shit. And, like love, like on some, hey my love, how are you doing type shit. Like that's the L word. Like I don't drop the L bomb until at least a year after I've known you. Whether you a fucking friend or a piece of whatever. Yeah you know what I mean? I'm like, sure you pump your brakes, you scare me, that's a red flag, calm the fuck down with that love shit. Like I don't even think you understand what it is, because you throwing around so loosely. You know. Back to life, back to reality. You gotta love yourself. Like, yeah, you spend time with your feminine, but it's gonna be time that you're gonna spend without your feminine. Your mind can't run rampant when your feminine got shit to do. Like, it's just outside conflict. Like, masculine, you... You didn't know how real the world truly was until you got out the Matrix. While you're getting out the Matrix, you're starting to see exactly what you dealing with. You know exactly what you need to do in life right now. You know exactly what you can't do in life right now. You know what's allowed, what's not. You know the guidelines, terms, and conditions of being a divine. It's hella outside conflict out here. You can't get in your like you can't get yourself into, but it's like watch out. Put more smoke on this energy. Another five, five of cups. The Acom, Mr. Lonely Car. Um, I just take it as emotional isolation. Four of cups, that's the world, right? Masculine. You just in Zion. <laughs> Four of Wands, you're in Zion, heaven. Home. Where God at? Where your feminine at? Where purpose is at? You're just up here looking down at the fucking world. You in a class by yourself. You've been in a class by yourself. The divine feminine is in a class by herself. All divines who fucking dwell in Zion 
dwell in Zion. We're in class by ourselves. That's why we're lonely as fuck as the divine. That's why the higher and closer you get to God, the more freaking... It's like the closer you get to God, the more disconnected you get to people. The more understanding you get on yourself, the more people start thinking you motherfucking crazy because you're getting high. you up. We in a fourth, fifth fucking dimension. We're not on the third. We're not in a world like everybody else, man. We're not in a fucking world like everybody else, man. It ain't even our job or duties to be in the Matrix in that manner. It sucks being in class by ourselves, but that's the life of a divine. It's real. That's when you finally start to understand. It helps, because now you understand... Why your feminine got mad at you when you call her ass crazy? You know what I mean? Now you're going to see why your feminine goes so ham sometimes. Because life is too short. Life is to be lived. But also the life that we living in this world is, like I say, it's fake as shit. There's too much shit going on in the real world, Zion. Masculine that you didn't know. Now you're fully aware of it and you're just like... Feel totally isolated from the world, which is a feeling you don't have that much. You'd be alright. Feminine, you in regards to the basket. You got the eight of swords. Self post prison. False ideology. A safety net. Or a uh, wall that you built. Protect yourself from getting hurt or protect yourself from, you know, seeing something you don't want to see. I'm going to put it like this, feminine. I got to pick another card because I know some karma tied to this. You masculine. Sad. So. Man, this is weird energy. Feminine. Something you've learned in the past, something you're gonna still learn to this day. Alright? Do not put yourself in a self imposed prison when it comes to your divine masculine mentally. Your masculine loves you, but he's not gonna see things the, the exact same way you see it. There's some things your masculine is just not going to to go with, not going to accept, not going to acknowledge, not going to whatever. I mean, never say never. I mean, they're going to learn eventually. It's just as of right now, it's like you got a few terms and conditions that your masculine just really don't care about, care for. And they're kind of feeling offended you even putting up terms and conditions. That's why you don't give out automated CO20. You give an ultimatum to your twin that you must be living in a self-imposed prison because this shit don't work like that. Yeah. You don't want to change nobody. If God gives you free will, why the fuck you who are God, guys, if this is down from your chin, why you can't let people have free will about you? It's free will here. Do not think. Okay, that you could trap your masculine in any kind of way. You just trap a self post prison like you tripping, thinking that. Uh, you think your masculine is supposed to, I don't know, do something for you. But y'all ain't talked about it. Or y'all ain't really set it up. Set this up. You know what I mean? You're going off pure assumption that your masculine is supposed to do something for you. Or gonna do something for you. You know what I mean? Or should do something for you. Like, nah. Unless you know what it is, I wouldn't count on that. You know, this is also... I can say just a, a false ideology that you got on your mask. You think your mask in a certain way and he ain't that. You swear up and down your mask when there's something and they turn out to be something else. Happens a lot. I second guess my twin. Another reason why he left me the fuck alone because I was assuming I 
thought I had him figured out. When in reality, I didn't even have myself figured out at the fucking time. So, a bit my own ass with that one. Finishing off this reading. Masculine, you're going to go to the future with the Ace of Swords. Uh, strength, power, authority, dominion, courage, valor. Anything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in life. This is the loading chamber in the matrix. Anything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in life. This is the only direction you need to go in life. It's only one right way. It's only one right way. This is a, a way. This is a way. And there's only one right way. Okay. You got left, you got right. It's only one right way. Like, what's up? What's what's up, guys? What's up? This direction is pointing up. What's up, guys? What's up, like? That's all that matters. As long as you keep going up, you're gonna be an A for all right. Your feminine going up. She's going, going, gone. You need to get up there too. She ascended. A for ascended. You can ascend too. It's your job to ascend. You're supposed to ascend. You know. First step to ascension is mentally, you know what I'm saying? Going mentally, go in one direction. You know, if you're lost, you're gonna eventually have to pick a direction and go towards it. You know, flip a coin, you know. Create a reason mentally. <laughs> why you need to go in this direction or, or, you know what I mean, get a sign, you know, look for a sign from God to see which direction is the direction he wants you to go in. Either way, this is the first step. You're going in a whole new direction and this is the first step. Put more smoke on this or in the karma mask when we got the six of cups. The direction that you're heading to mask on it's got unlimited sauce. Who, do, who is the sauce maker? That's the divine feminine. Sauce, that's style, that's presence, that's essence, that's, you know, it's your sauce, that's your steez. Like, it's, it's what makes you you. The masculine loves what makes you you. You can't get enough of it, you know. karma to him going in the right direction it's like he's going in the direction of uh, it's like a, a leprechaun heading towards a uh, pot of gold you know, at the end of the rainbow <laughs> it's like a rainbow happens and a motherfucking leprechaun looks up ooh <laughs> ooh <laughs> Catch me lucky charms, you know what I'm saying? Like he's saucy, like it's a it's it's like a leprechaun loves gold. He sees a fucking rainbow, he knows exactly where to go. All they gotta do is get to the other end of that rainbow. I'm sure a leprechaun is a professional end of the rainbow finder. You know, that's what makes leprechaun so saucy. They all about that gold, they all about that coin, they all about finding that pot of gold. Anybody know the direction to the pot of gold? It's the motherfucking leprechaun. That's what makes them saucy. You know, this is really <laughs> being true to your sauce. You know, it's really being true to your sauce, mask and like <laughs> like you addicted to the sauce. If you addicted to the sauce, that means you know where the sauce at. Sometimes the divine feminine don't know where her sauce at. She can be a she, she can be eating on rocket. You know how to find sauce. It's what my masculine does to me all the time. The nigga pulls sauce out of me. You know, that's what I always know the right thing to say when I'm feeling like shit. But sometimes I'll be feeling like shit because he says some shit that make me feel like shit. And then he hit me with that. <laughs> like, you know how to pull shit out of me. Whether I'm asleep, 
lazy as hell, he'll get your ass up, son. Like, you know, the fuck is you doing? Like, it's, boy, you know what I'm saying? You missing the day. Like, get your ass up and seize this day. I'm up, you know what I'm saying? Or, hey, get your ass up, you know what I'm saying? Meet me at so-and-so, so-and-so, so we can do so-and-so, so-and-so. I wasn't going to do shit. I wasn't even going to move that day. I'm just getting up and at him now. You know what I mean? It's like sauce. If I don't have it in me, it'll be in me by the time I'm on the mask and hit me up. It's like how the fuck it was when my mask will hit me up. And we talked for the first time fucking 10 motherfucking months, man. It's like I was at a low. I was at a low. This was like the eighth, ninth and shit. I was mostly just fucked up. Yeah, I mean, then you, you know, it's fucked up. I mean, so by the time I got that call from my twin, it just gave me a jolt of energy. It's like sauce. I was running out of sauce. My master went to the store to give me some shit to make more sauce. Masculine, you. <laughs> like. Why are you being addicted to the sauce that's paying off? Why? Because you can find sauce where there's no sauce. Like your feminine can't find no sauce, but you know where it's at. It's like your feminine don't have it in her to go on. And it's like you pull that drive out of her. You pull that passion out of her in the only the way that you can. Feminine. You go into the future, you got the world. It's the matrix. Third dimension. Third rock from the sun. Now, like I say, when you in the world feminine, you in the world like, you treat the world like a vacation. When you in the matrix, you treat it like a vacation. You know, when you tired of eating goop, you don't want to get a steak. You know what I'm saying? Or Italian beef or some shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? A hamburger from Portillo's or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck I would do. If I lived in... I mean, I do live in Zion. But this is the motherfucking Matrix for real. Like, I would just go to the Matrix to eat food. And... You know. Probably go see the lady in red dress. Some... Me and me. Smoke some of the finest Matrix. <laughs> And bring my ass back to Zion, you know what I mean? It's how I kick it. Like, free your scalp. This is just freeing your scalp. Have fun, feminine. Like, you in the world, do early shit. When in Rome. We ain't talking about convert to Satanism and shit while you out here. We ain't talking about, uh, you know what I mean? Just fucking yourself up. Just, just out here. Spiritually out here. Just... Exposing yourself to just anything at the King of Pentacles here. Karma. Have fun in the world, feminine, when you are in the world, when you are enjoying yourself in the Matrix. You're in the Matrix for a reason. Like I say, it's real in the real world. It's nice every now and then to escape reality, but it's like you gotta come back to life, back to reality. You know, King of Pentacles, that's an alchemist, a magician, um, a person that can manifest whatever the fuck they want. It's an owner, not a boss, it's an owner. It's also karma. Like a karmic masculine, karmic feminine, karmic in general. You know, high ranking karmic, or this could be, like I say, karma on a global level. It's the world, it's the system. It's a, it's a crab bucket, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a plantation, you know what I'm saying? And there are slave masters, king of pentacles, and this worldly plantation for a cups that is the world. Have fun, just know that, you know, you are being watched, hear that? Just know that, you know, this world can be very deceiving. That's why you... View the world with your third eye. You know, whether it's a person two feet away from you or you're looking at a star two million miles in the sky. Be careful what you see. Analyze what you see. But look with your spiritual eyes. So that's the message I got. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D-Boom. Uh, stay tuned. Deuces.